in this video we are going to discuss about what are the various filters which are available in Weka. So, so I have imported the data that is a weather data which is already available in Weka. Now I am going to choose filter. So here you can see if you just click that filter you can see all filters. If you want to apply all the filters then that is fine. Rename relation everything. So we will just ignore these three filters okay so if you just hover over any filter it will show what it will do okay this all filter is primarily for testing purpose what are the capabilities attributes instances and everything and the next one is also you can see apply so here you have supervised filter what are the supervised filter which is related to an attribute okay so it, it can add a classification attribute selection it can select a specific attributes class condition of probabilities everything discretize merge nominal value nominal to binary parched partition membership so before that let us just go and check uh, that is what are all nominal values we have we have sunny hot um, high and normal and windy so now what we will do is we will try to change this windy this is nominal let us try to change this to binary okay select which one you have to change that is windy i just wanted to change i'm going to choose here go to supervise go to attribute and try to change nominal to binary okay and then click apply okay so now you can see that what happens here just go to edit and see what happened here everything changed to binary that is the nominal value not only the windy based on that windy because based on these every set of data this windy has been uh, we are uh, uh, we are finding this winds right so everything has been changed to nominal to binary okay you can see that this is what happening here if you want to undo the changes simply go and select here undo okay you can see that the changes have been made properly and your data has been regained okay so now let us try something different um, so let us go to instances and you can see class balancer so what it will do okay class balancer we will just uh, instances we will just leave it we will go and check with the unsupervised okay if you want to add a cluster add id add user field add values cartesian product everything okay discretize math expression nominal to binary nominal to string normalize everything is here okay so principal component analysis random random projection random subset remove okay everything reorder uh, replace missing fine so if you want to try any one of this you can try this and here you can see random non pass remove percentage resample and everything so let us so for every basic uh, understanding for example if you want to do classification what we will be doing is we have to split the data into training and testing set okay we have to what we have to split the data into training and testing set so what is training and what is testing that is what we are going to first check and then we are going to do the sampling method so this is your complete data imagine that you have nearly 100 date records in your data set so basically for doing any classification or clustering technique we need at least at least 5000 records okay which will give us a better result uh, or as even if 1000 records is also good good enough 100 record we will not uh, use it for learn machine learning purpose because we cannot uh, teach the machine with a basic 100 records even if it is 100 records it should be very effective records should be there okay so for any combinations we should have that record so let us imagine that you have 100 records so you are going to split that into actually three record three types of data but we will just look at the two type that is a training and testing set okay training set and testing testing set so what will be done done in training and what will be done in testing so imagine a simple semester examination so what we will be doing is we will be teaching the concept for first two to three three to four months and then we will have a semester okay the semester is what testing 
test and the three months which we are teaching is what training okay so what we are going to do is this hundred uh, records you know we are going to split this hundred record either like 60 percentage and 40 percentage of record for example 60 records for training and 40 records for testing okay we will split the whole record into two uh, uh, batches one will be training so based on this we will train the we will what we will do we will train the data okay we will train the mission that if this these are all the attributes then it should be you are ready to play if these are all the attributes then you should not play okay and once the uh, machine is trained then based on this what we will do we will test it whether the machine is trained well or not okay for that what we will do we will in insert this 40 records and check whether the training is done properly and whether it can predict these testing records okay so what we have to do is see this is what we have these data this will be a training set and for testing set we should not be we will not be including this class attribute class attribute is what the play okay this is what the class attribute so based on these attributes it is predicting whether we can play or not okay we are just telling whether we can play or not okay so that is what happening here so based on this class attribute it is predicting so for testing purpose we will not be including this class value okay that we will i will tell you in uh, another video like how to uh, train and test and uh, display the output for that how to see whether it has been trained properly or not okay so this is what for this what we have to do we have to split the uh, original record into two sets okay 60 40 or sometimes they, many people will do 75 25 percentage of segregation so there are may, various uh, various possibilities so now if i want to segregate so since here i have only 14 records so it is easy for me to segregate okay but imagine if i have nearly thousand or five thousand records then how i can go and segregate the 60 percent you, you should not select first 60 60 percentage and last to 40 percentage for training okay that is not basically good for research so what you have to do you have to random this is where we will be applying the random sampling method you have to apply a random sampling method where the uh, veka itself it will understand the ra randomly it will pick up the data uh, that is 60 percentage of the data and 40 percentage of the data so now we are going to do that how you can do this that particular part that is random sampling can be done in the unsupervised learning in the filter okay go to unsupervised instances and if you just come down it will you can see resample okay so it produces a random subsample of data set using either sampling with replacement or without replacement so let us click here resample and click on this text box where it will show you some more properties okay so here you can check see debug uh, you if you want you can just make it uh, for it true do not check capabilities if you want you can make it true this too is not so much required okay filter may output additional info to the console if you want additional info the filters capabilities are not checked before it built okay the important thing is what inward selection as of now i'm just keeping false no replacement i'm just keeping true replacement means what you are just replacing the value disables the replacement of instances okay it will not replace any value the unique data it will be fetching out random seed is one that is fine and sample size percentage is i need 60 percentage that is only 60 percent of the data so i'm giving okay see in this you can see that instance is 14 now i'm clicking okay you can see if you just apply this you can see that only the instance is 8 okay 60 percentage of 14 is 8 okay now this is what the training data now i am going to save this as a training uh, let us make it as training and i am going to say it save it i'm going to save it in um, documents okay i have the separate uh, folder for this here i'm going to save it as uh, weather training okay so i have saved it now i'm going to create a testing as well right for testing also i need the data so again i am selecting here if you want to undo you can undo and select it okay now i am selecting here and here i'm just making it as inward selection okay inward selection 
So now what happens? That is the sixty percentage I have selected, right? So that specific data, that records, it will not consider, and balance forty percentage of data will be considered. And I'm clicking OK, and if I click. See here, the instance is eight. If I click apply, you can see that the instance is four. Okay, it is not considering that eighty uh, percentage of the sorry that sixty percentage of data, which is eight instances, and here it is selecting only the four. Okay, now I am going to save this as a testing. Here we are going to what we are going to test it. Okay, so this is what resample. This sampling is very very important for every pre-processing and your work. If this is applicable for any domain, okay, it's not mandatory that only computer science students should see that. Only computer science researchers should do that. Any domain, anyhow, you are going to deal with your data. Okay, even if it is a biochemistry, even if it is mechanical engineering, civil engineering. Chemistry, physics, max, whatever it may be, you are going to deal with the data. So that data you are going to import it and you are going to sample. You have you are going to make it as a training and testing data. That's it. That is what we have done it. So in this, I have just gave you one important one that is resample. How you have to do that, and if you want to randomize the data, that is randomly shuffles the order of the instances. If you want to randomly shuffle the data, then you can click randomize the data and. apply and save it okay this is the common thing so hope you have understand the basic resampling method in weka in the next video we will see how to test the weka how to uh, train the data set and how to use the testing data into it okay